This is a little one who is three weeks old. And if you look at the shape of his rim, it's actually fairly normalized, but he's a very weak uh, superior cruise. The other thing that uh, parents noticed when he was born is he had what I would describe as a stall zero, a really rolled out uh, rim. You can see even at three weeks, this is very soft and very uh, flattened. So we need to roll this rim in. Um, at the same time that we are supporting that superior cruise. So we're going to be using our ear well as a base plate uh, for this and that will be the um, basis of utilizing the moldable silicone impression material to create a customized prosthesis for this little one to meet his, uh, his exact needs. Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, moldable silicone impression material and actually it comes in, the product that we use comes in uh, two um, separate packets and we put them in syringes so that we can take a little bit of this at a time and mix it together and so when you mix it, it uh, starts to form the compound and, and uh, starts to harden in just a few minutes. So I'll just be mixing that together. And what I'll do in the meantime is start to take out the tapes here to prepare this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit over the, the uh, posterior former because I want to um, be able to get this uh, superior cruise form, but you see when I do that it flattens out the top of the rim. So we want to be able to curl that in. I'm going to put a little support behind that so that we can make that come up a little bit better. I'm putting this um, around the <clears throat> control former to kind of soften that <clears throat> angle at the top. I'm going to work it up here at the top too to, so I can get that to bring that in. See how that's happening there? <clears throat> and you can use a cotton swab. To, this is very you know, forgivable material. Like I said, you, you have several minutes to get this uh, to start working so that... Um, we can get this uh, curled in. And as I'm doing this, I'm holding some of this in my hand. So as I feel that start to form, then I'm going to be able to uh, put my retractor in there to further support that. But you see I'm kind of curling this up around the rim and building this up. And that's going to allow us to get that curvature at the top here and give that support from behind. So I'm feeling this is starting to get a little bit harder. And what this does is it, once it hardens, it uh, forms memory. And that will um, allow that to stay in place even after it's uh, dry. So we'll now go ahead and add our retractor in. see how that allows us to curl that without making that sharp edge. And then this will just hold the foot plate in place. And we've got a nice curvature around here, a nice uh, superior uh, cruise uh, formed. And we'll put this, uh, our control former in. And then we can put the anterior cradle on. bit more back here to really enhance that curvature. <laughs> 